Yeah. Hello. Right. Welcome to the Planet Ant Digital House Team. Yes. The prime show. time show. Are you guys okay. excited? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. And uh, we are going to start out with a montage for you guys. And then we're going to do some, we're going to play some sketches. And then we are going to do the continuation of our saga, our four week saga of the pencil show. Dun dun. So, right now we need some suggestions. So, please give us some suggestions for a montage. Um, could be anything. Give us an object, give us a location, give us what whatever you think a suggestion is, and that's how we're gonna we're gonna roll out right now. So um a sentence of dialogue, a sentence of dialogue too. You can we're gonna we'll say we'll say whatever. I don't care, I'll say anything. <laughs> I I you can make me oh okay. We're starting to get a few things <laughs> all right. But that yeah, can. we <laughs> uh, some uh, lines of dialogue. Um for us later as well, when we're doing the, um, when we're continuing our saga of the pencil show, and we'll put those in. But right now we have some suggestions. Um, Morse code, thank you Morse code. And we are going to begin our montage, thank you. I'm tired of you guys talking in code, okay? It's like, you don't want me to know what you're doing. <laughs> well, Lisa, it's so nice that you're always on our dates with us. <laughs> Isn't that right, <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> That's right, Julia. I, I'm kind of sick of, uh, Lisa, you're just butting in all the time, okay? Roommates got to have separate lives. I'm friends with both of you. And so I think it's like good for the house for me to be here on the date with you. But there's like so, just something about ahead. like you being like in our bedroom like right now. Like this is just very like. The date's in the bedroom. So if the date's in the bedroom, I'm in the bedroom. Yeah, but and I would you like have... it if you left more room for me. I don't, I feel crowded. <laughs> okay. Right. You have your, you have your own bedroom and, and we don't go in there. You have, you know, you have your own bag. You you have your own bag of rice, for instance. We're not, we're not scooping from your bag of rice. Okay. We're well, scooping except from that one other. time when she wasn't there, but that was, that was like when she was away at that wedding. That yeah. Was and, that. and we were, <laughs> we were out of rice. rice. It would be weird if you had a date in my room. It's, it's it your date. Be. It so would be weird if you had a date, yes. So here I am, on your yeah. date, in your room. I'm glad that makes sense. Now back to the code. Um, <laughs> if you could just not, just like spell it out for me. I don't want to be in on the jokes. Listen, Ju Julia and I met at, at code camp. You know what I mean? And it, it and we can't, we can't connect without that. You know what I mean? And and can't you're, turn you're kind of the code. getting away with the connection. It's not really like that. It's like this, like, special thing that we have, you know, between the two of us, like, you know, like this bedroom, um, this code, this like, um, it's uh, weird. It's weird. You guys went to Mars code camp and you're proud of it. I wouldn't tell anyone if I did that. We're telling you because we don't want you f fucking around with us anymore. All right. We want you out of our room. We did. Right. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Kevin? Yeah. Slash, slash, beep, beep, slash, slash, beep. Beep, beep, slash, slash, beep, 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 slash, slash, beep. Pause. Stop. I don't know what it means. Of course you don't. Because I just, I need you're to. mean. Don't get like this. Don't get like, come on. We got to stay strong. Lisa, listen, I, I, I know that we have said that there is like, it was like cool with like you being around all the time. Like, oh, you mm -hmm. said it. like we did. I know we said it, but like, yeah. okay, like, I like, believe you. Like when you like got in the shower yesterday, that was like really, that was really weird. Okay, Lisa, like that's like a yeah, weird. Because you guys were talking in code. If you would just talk to me like a regular <laughs> oh person, God. then we Lisa, could all shower together. Lisa, I don't, I don't want you trying on my clothes anymore. I don't, I don't want to walk home to you. See. <laughs> This is bullshit. This is this this is fucking bullshit. Really, really with the swears. This is this is absolute bullshit, and you know it, and I know it. I, it's 
And there's no way to describe it. It's bullshit. Look, I'm sorry I burnt the, the rice. It's I'm sorry, okay? I did my best. This is Survivor, okay? You can't be fucking around burning rice. This is all the food that we have. I haven't eaten three days and I'm cranky. You knew when we signed up for Survivor that I can't cook on a stove. How am I going to cook over a fire? I told you this and you wanted to bring me. It's because you want to get in my pants and I know it. Well, I just, you know, I, I figured where else but somewhere where you're not around literally any other person for a long period of time, you know? I don't you know. can't blame me for having a game plan. You knew what you were signing up for. It's, why does it always have to be so extravagant? What are you trying to prove? I'll okay, take we could go to Chicago. We could go up north. We could go to a fitting room at Kohl's. I, you're what I, not all of this stuff. They don't play Survivor in a fitting room at Kohl's. They don't play Survivor in Chicago, at least like not this way. Hello and welcome to oh, the Survivor God. in the fitting room at Kohl's. You guys hey. are so crazy. Yeah, can, you, we, can we get have a minute? We're having an well, issue. just so you know, you have nine items and it's really only six. So already you're not surviving. What, what did they get item limits at Kohl's? Yeah, what it what a rude what a rude attendant. You know what? Fuck this. I don't have to cook rice that cold. Yeah. Let's just teach her a lesson and like make out right here. Yeah, let's bang in here. Yeah. Or out there. Mmm. I like in here. Okay. Book scene. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, it's tough out there today. Mm. All right. I know, man. I know. Listen, I'm so happy that you brought me on to do this uh, kids uh, yoga class. I really needed this, you know, <sighs> really needed to jump back into it. Yeah. Listen, and I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, to hear about your parents that they, you know, died in that bathroom accident. I'm, I feel awful about it. Ah. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah, that 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 really means a lot. Coming yeah. Through. So anything yeah. I can do to help you or your family, you know, including yeah. giving you this job, is, you know, yeah. A anything you want at all, you know, just come to ask. Think, think. I, I know I was just your neighbor, but think of me as an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Uncle Dick. You are fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. you just, it's just really, it's really been hard. But, but I. I know you called me Dick. That's what your parents called me. I I normally go by Richard. Dick was just kind of something I allowed, but oh, around here, please call me Richard. Okay, Uncle Richard. Oh, that's fine. No, that's cool. I get it. Your love and support has uh has rules. It has boundaries. I got you. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Uncle Richard. Yeah, yeah, and just awesome. another thing. Um, yeah. I noticed you were acting a little unprofessional in front of some of the kids. Oh, uh, okay. You're talking about the racial slurs. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, I thought that this was, you know, I thought it was cool. So like these kids were cool because they were in yoga. They could hang. <laughs> They're about the counterculture. I, I was wrong. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's, it's not. Okay. Yeah. It, it's not okay. And I, I know mm -hmm. that is how your parents raised you. And I know they, they did. They died slipping out of banana peel in a bathroom simultaneously. <laughs> um, <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. They, they bonked heads and there were brains everywhere. Um, Confetti. It was crazy. I know, but Wild. Again, good when you're here, we, we just we just need you to, you know, act like you know, a member of society. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. That was my bad. That was my bad. All right. So no racial slurs. Okay. No, no racial slurs. And okay. what about smoking and drinking? Is that still on the table or I mean, we have a policy, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you when you're off the clock, you're off the clock, but you know, yeah. When you when you pull out a big stogie and start smoking it in a yoga class in front of yeah. children, it it does send a weird message, and we're trying to minimize here that at uh, 
at, mm. at Yoga's RS. So yeah. just keep that in mind. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, I get it. That's fine. You know, it's my emotional support uh, animal because I can't afford an actual animal because my parents are dead. I, I, yeah, I, I get that. And I, I understand you might be acting out, you know, you're still a young man. I am. Um, I am. But it's also, you know, the face tattoo of, of Bart Simpson peeing on a Yogi symbol that you have on your forehead. Um, yeah. See. <laughs> So they sent you over from the office. I've never really had an emotional support, man. But here we are. I think you'll I name find me. you Roger. Roger. I think I can yep. do that. I think you'll find me very Roger like, if that's what is helpful for you. It feels pretty good right now. I started just now thinking about work, and then I looked at you. And how does that make then, you feel? I don't know. I feel better, I guess. Just like a dude. I asked for a taller blonde man, but here we are. Well, I'm the tallest, blondest man at the agency, so I apologize. I'm six foot four and a strawberry blonde, but I understand that, you know, things don't And I wanted always... taller and blonder? Uh, yes, you know, yes, yes, ma'am. You know, you're you're absolutely correct. And me, uh, Roger, I will uh, endeavor to become taller and blonder during our time together. What's your real name? You know what? Don't tell me. What is it's it? Roger. All right, fine, Roger. We so, hear it. You know, we hear it at, at Richard's support humans. We really get into it. You know, we're really here. I'm here to help you with whatever mm -hmm. your emotional needs are. Uh, think of me like a blank canvas. You know, what if I'm I nothing. said, what if I said, I'm going to drink, Roger? Uh oh. Well, I guess I would say, is that what you want? Is that what I'm would reaching, make you happy? I'm reaching for this bottle, Roger. Now, I'm taking a look here at your paperwork, and there isn't anything marked that says that you're not allowed to drink, but maybe if you wanted, we could Gulk. explore why you feel you can't. Gulk. Okay. Vodka tastes like shit, Roger. You know, you're absolutely right. I've never liked vodka. All right. That was a test. You failed. Good going, Raj. I've decided to now call you Raj. How's it fit? That's, that's perfectly acceptable to me. Uh, I am uh, a taupe wallpaper human being. You can say or do anything you'd like to me. I'm like a human stress ball. Just a Most, little cocaine, Roger. That's, you know, there's, again, I have your paperwork right here, and there's nothing about it that says that you can't do cocaine. It just says don't. Don't give Woo! water after midnight. And so that's Fail, all Rod. That's all that I'm going to do. Fail. Oh, I'm you sorry just... you feel that way. Well, if you were supporting me, would I turn to drugs and alcohol? You know, most people just like hit me or like swear at me. You know, most people don't mess, don't, don't test my moral turpitude, like not right up top anyway. Um, so I guess my question is. Please snuggle, Roger. Absolutely. There's a clause in my contract. <laughs> You've got great hair. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm, I really uh, appreciate you uh, noticing, Tom, <laughs> how great my hair looks. <laughs> Thanks for giving me another chance. I know that I've really biffed our last date. So two thumbs up for me. Yeah, well, I mean, when you continued to text me every 15 to 20 minutes nonstop, um, I kind of felt like, you know, we're getting to the stalker thing. But then when you started complimenting me, I just couldn't get enough. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Don't call me a stalker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 
Tell me the three things that you would like to do on a future date with me. Um. Wait, I'll go. You want to go to the Poconos. You want to go to Cancun. You want to go to Hawaii and rest in the sun. Tom, it's like you're in my soul. I like, I feel it now. Like, I feel like I can't believe I've wasted so much time with you. Like, not responding to this amazing attention that you're giving me. Tom, thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Name your three favorite foods. I'll go for you. Pizza Mediterranean style. Veggie steamed broccoli. And, and fried rice pineapple edition. Oh, my God. How did you know? God, my ears are getting hot for you. Oh, God. Tom. Tom. You make Can me I admit something to you I would only admit to my very best friend? Hmm. Please tell me. I watch a lot of your live streams and your Instagram videos on the internet. And I appreciate your character and personality a lot. Oh, wow. Who would have thought that like me putting all of that information out there into like the world would have like come back with such positive reinforcement. <laughs> I've also gotten access to your passwords and I've been looking at all your drafts. I think that some of the drafts that you made on TikTok could actually really work. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, give me your, your top three. Wait, I'll go. <laughs> um, is it the one where I had painted a body mask of myself? Right? No, you're dead wrong. You're oh. dead wrong. You don't know me at all. Oh, well, well Tom, this was a I, mistake. No, wait, no, no, Tom, you, I mean, you can't leave me now. Not, not after everything we've been through. Sorry, toots. No, I need somebody who gets my taste in obscure TikTok comedy drafts. Not someone who's just going to throw a dart into the wind and think that's the right answer. <laughs> Tom, but you're, you're so beautiful and poetic. <laughs> Please give me one I'm going to go hop back onto my 86 Thunderbird and take a road trip out of the Poconos <laughs> on my own. See you that, later, toots. That cuts real deep, Tom. Oh, Tom. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> How do you always get stuck? <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's so nice seeing you around here, stranger. It's pretty nice seeing you around here, stranger. <laughs> oh, you're doing that copying thing you do and you copy everything I say. I love that. You know that. <laughs> I'm terrified and I don't know what else to say. That <gasps> That's okay, because honestly, I'm more of the talker in the relationship. So this is perfect. Now you're, you're my dad. This, I, I guess it's a relationship, but it really creeps me out when you keep saying it that way. I, you know, I don't like the word creep. Don't say the word creep. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. Now we're going to go over the ground rules again. So number one, right? You can't leave the house for any reason at all. Okay. I know you tried to sneak away last night. Yeah, I know. Our little Shih Tzu, Susie. Yeah, she caught you. Okay. Don't do it again. Susie. Susie's an academic advisor and I got a full ride to Harvard and I've been sneaking out of the house to study for my ACT and we're also having sex, but that's not anything to do with it. Dad. Okay. All right. I'm going to forget you said all that except the last part for some reason I'm kind of about that. But the main point being you cannot leave the house. That's rule number one and also number two. Remember what happens if you break rule number one and rule number two? We have to talk, and that's like literally the worst part of my life. 
That's right. That's right. So now this is us talking. This is me being a great father, you know, like my father wasn't. So this is me attempting to fix that and also fix you because the world is broken. Okay. Dad, I'm leaving to go to college. And it's not because I don't love you, because I do love you. Mm -hmm. All of your weird everything. It's so weird. But I have to go, and you don't have to keep locking me in a house to keep me around. I'll come visit. No, you won't. I know you won't. You won't do it because your mother doesn't visit. She doesn't visit anymore. Neither does your sister. She doesn't visit anymore. You know, they try to send me to jail, and that's not okay. So you're the only one I have left, and you're not leaving the house. I've locked all the doors. In fact, I've actually melted all the doorknobs and super glued all the windows. You're not getting out of here, man. Awesome. Great. So now we're ready to talk. Very cool. Okay. Scene. Scene. <clears throat> oh, my, Sorry. oh my oh my dear sweetie. Oh my dear sweet baby boy. Oh, my dear sweet baby boy, do you have a cold, sweet baby boy? Yeah, I didn't feel so good at school yesterday. I probably oh. should go in today. <coughs> oh, no. My dearest, sweetest, greatest, little bestest baby boy isn't feeling so well on the day of his big spelling test. No, I mean, this could have happened any day, and I'm... So sad it's happening on the big day of the spelling test. It could have been any other day. <clears throat> oh, my dearest, sweetest, smartest, most bestest baby boy. He, he he's he, he's so sick on the day of his ACT spelling test, the spelling portion of the ACT. What a tragedy. Or is it? Because I'm not buying it. Well... I don't know, but you but you could give me any test right now and I'd pass flying colors. I just oh, yeah? I just probably shouldn't get in because I, I don't want to go I don't want to go into school because I you know this could be contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Spell spaghetti. Um <clears throat> S <laughs> P Uh-huh <clears throat> A A E A A A A A A G G G Okay, you know how to spell spaghetti. I get it. That's fine. <laughs> you got the first four letters. That's enough. Yeah, if you could spell spag, you could spell spaghetti, and I'll take that to court. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you know I'm not missing just because I'm trying to get out of spelling. Oh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my sweet, lovable, my kissable, soft, lovely, most sweet baby boy. And I Tell me all those words. What are your other symptoms? Um. Well, I got my cough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very real cough. Um. And oh. I think I've got a fever, Poppy. Oh, no! A fever? Oh, wow, so the humanity! Hey. What the hell's going on in here? His school bus is getting here in the next five minutes. Why the hell wow. is he not dressed? Oh, Mommy, Poppy and I were just talking about how I'm too sick to go to school. <laughs> you know what? This is, know. this is your problem, Poppy. You let him roll all over you. That's your problem, okay? He went, he ate a whole pound of Lucky Charms and didn't brush his teeth, and now he woke up, and now he's feeling sick. And I, 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 no. Get your ass dressed. Get yourself on the bus. Oh, no. You ate a whole pound of Lucky Charms? Yes. I'm so sorry. Oh, Just kidding. Get your clothes on. We're going That's to right. No, I'll, if you make me go to school, I'm going to eat two pounds of Lucky Charms next time, and then you're going to have to take me to the hospital. Omar, I will take you to the hospital, but not for eating no lucky charms. Get your ass on the bus. You're going you're gonna to hate your only son? 
really hard in the face. Now get on the bus. No, I don't want to. The kids make fun of me. They call me Lucky Charms ass because I'm always shitting out pure Lucky Charms in the toilet. <laughs> and I forget the flesh. And then there's Lucky Charms in the toilet. You that, guys don't buy is, me good enough food. That is really funny. Yeah, You know why I don't buy enough food? Because you're ungrateful. That's why. I'm ungrateful because I have yeah. a, I have a I have severe energy problems because all I eat is Lucky Charms. I'm hyped up on sugar for 20 minutes and then I crash and I'm depressed the rest of the day. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'll but try that's this. Also, little... why you're so sweet? <laughs> oh my God! Stop! Stop! <laughs> butter. <Please. Please. laughs> <laughs> hmm. You know, Susie, you're going to have to open your mouth at some point. I can't perform my dental duties on you if you're just waving your hand in my face. Ooh, you'll never get in. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to get in there. I'm oh. going to get in. Oh, I, I bet you any monies you can't. Any money. Come on, doctor. Here we go. See, I'm, home. I'm not chasing you around the office again, Susie. <laughs> I, we broke a lot of expensive equipment. Ooh. We hurt Barbara. <laughs> Oh, yes. How is she doing? Out of hospital yet? Oh, my, my eye is gone. Barbara. She's not in hospital. No, Barbara. I'm not in hospital. Learn to talk. You're freaking six. Ooh, angry Barbara. Maybe you need a ooh, ooh, oh. You I'm get gone. your stupid six year old finger away from me. Boop. Susie, Boop. Susie, that's enough. So dumb. That's me. enough. Uh, so I went to school for two and a half years. I hate you. Come on. Put your stupid teeth away and take them out. Come and get it. Hi, 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 Listen, hi, hi. Susie, you are, sentences. just because you are a baby genius doesn't mean you get to play games with us young, with us uh, simpletons, okay? Ooh, baby Do you geniuses. know the Pythagorean theorem? <laughs> you know goddamn well. I just know teeth. <laughs> Metachlorians? Oh, bet you never heard of those. Ooh. I haven't. Stupid mm. medical. What are they called? Baby Susie? geniuses. Every six months, Make you come in here, you 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 wave your hands in my face, you injure my employees, you insult my intelligence, and and you make references to movies I've never seen, and I never get to touch the damn teeth. Uh, all uh, all her, that makes me happy is touching the damn teeth. Make her clean uh, her own teeth if she's such a genius. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah. I, but, but, but yeah. That's, no, but I... No, guys. Hey, hey. I Do your own this, stuff. I thought Baby this was genius. an idea. Like, dynamic. We we like... Oh, like, dynamic as in like way... You think this is a game? Each other. You think this isn't a, a game, game six-year-old. It's it's difficult to speak to you guys on your level. <laughs> Susie Take says. my tooth cleaning pen and do it yourself, you stinker. Got it. Mm. Oh, cool. I like it changes colors when you clean them. But I'm making a mockery of my profession. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back, Yay. everybody. That was the montage. Right. Clap for us. Montage. Please clap. She, not you guys. I'm saying at home, clap for us. You guys can clap too, I guess. I'm we all home. clap. Yeah. I'm at home watching. Hey, man. Um, so keep giving us suggestions. Keep giving us lines of dialogue because we are going to use those in the continuation of the third week of the pencil shift. Dun dun. <laughs> And um, we are going to watch some sketches right now. So enjoy all. Yeah. I don't know making can be really intimidating. So let's go over a few practice calls to get you newbies started. We've already gone over some possible scenarios like where's your polling location or how do I do a mail-in ballot? Okay, so you, know, you guys know the drill. Let's get started. Paul, why don't you go first? Hi, this is Paul calling with the Georgia Democratic Party. I'm calling to find out- How did you get my number? Are you trying to steal my identity? You sound like a demon. Are you a demon? Answer me! I, do you know your polling location? Are you gonna... Okay, 
wow, that was a good first try. So let's just remember possible scenarios we went over. Like if they say they're an independent, like tell them, you know, ask them what their issues are. You know what? Let's try another. Let's try another. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Hi, this is Max with the Democratic Party. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm just calling to let you know that your polling place... How is dare you call me? I will find you. I will trace this call. I will kill your family. Is that what you want, Max? Is it? No. No, I want my family to live. I want them to live. Well, that didn't go well at all. Okay. Remember, guys, we've been doing this for hours, okay? Just, if they say they're a Republican, just ask them about commonalities within the parties. Come on, guys, come on. Sarah, you've got this. Come on. Hi, this is Sarah with the Georgia Democratic Party. I was just- You're ugly. Your mother didn't love you. And I've been sleeping with your husband so much, your son calls me mom! You like that, Sarah? Sarah from the Democratic Party? Um, we're okay with the Republicans keeping the Senate. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds yeah. great. That sounds great, actually. You guys, they weren't even trying. Love can transpose to mind and dignity. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. I know the line. It's just, yikes. Shot! Is there a problem? Yes. Can we talk in private? That's a five, everyone, a tight five. You know we open this Friday. There is no time for these distractions. Ryan is staring at me, like at every rehearsal. And? It's creepy. I don't have time for this. Just watch. See? That is weird. So you'll replace him? Out of the question. Ryan, get over here. You don't have to do that. No, I mean, it's actually, it's okay. Uh, uh, no, this is worse. This is worse. No, 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 no. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Hi. Ryan, bud, stop staring at Alice. You're creeping her out. Look at me. Stop staring at Alice. Thank you. Okay, uh, we need to get back to work. Let's take it from the top. Love looks not... Ryan, it's opening night tomorrow night. Go home! Pursue, I'm in pursuit of car. I'm going right wherever. Oh, come on. Oh, that damn Ryan. Sir, do you know how fast you were going? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Whoa. Is this 
suspicious vehicle headed west on Kniff. I am in pursuit. All right, I'm going to let you off with a warning. Hey, and uh, see somebody about that steering problem, all right? Could you tell me a little bit about your mother? Maybe it's time you go to your mother, look her in the eyes, and tell her how you feel about her. This week on VH1's The Fabulous Life of Tax Avoidance, we've got all the great billionaire toys you wish you had, you small, insignificant speck of dust. Like this mega yacht owned by Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. This absolute chonk of a boat has two halipads, seven decks, a Japanese-style teppanyaki grill, and was where the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince went full Obi-Wan Kenobi and chopped in half Jamal Khashoggi. And if that's not enough to make you feel like every decision you've ever made was a wrong one, you useless poor nothing, we've got an exclusive on billionaire David Geffen collection of tasteful nudes. He's so much more rich and important than you that his art collection has its own lawyers. After they were called as witnesses for the murders of over eight call girls. You're going to die broke and alone. Wednesdays at 8. Shots don't get us this heat will. I don't even remember why we were fighting in the first place. You stole my horse and killed my wife. Oh, right, right, right. My pretty horse, my pretty wife. I'm gonna kill you still. <coughs> huh? What in the Sam Hill? The willow tree creaks under the weight of the bone. What's that beautiful melody? The souls of departed cry out for their homes. I'm afraid this is it. This is your dying breath. Join me on this journey, your journey to death. Are, are you? I am whatever you say I am. Jesus? No. It's the Christ. No. He's come for us, fool, the angel of death. Do you work for Jesus? No. Well, time to go. 
Oh, oh, no, no, no. Well, sorry, I can only take one of you. Just one? But we're both dying. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I totally understand. It's just, you know, I got a daily quota and an extra stiff is just going to be a whole lot more paperwork. I mean, you understand. You guys understand. Take him then. Take him. All right, suit yourself. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, you're both gonna die, sure, but I can only take one of you today. Which means the other one's gonna have to wait here and fight off the elements and die slowly over a period of a couple days of hunger and, and bleeding out and wolves. Wolves? Take me, take me! Please take me! Well, well wait just a minute! He's the one who ruined my life! Why were we fighting again? My horse! Oh, right, okay. I hate you! What's on this? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you made your choice then. Am I gonna go meet Jesus the Christ? No! <laughs> Please! Gather around people, let me spin you a tale Of a man who lay dying, no wind in his sails Gunshot is gushing, that's yummy for wolves Blah, 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 blah Afterlife's over After there! Afterlife's over there! That way! That way! Well... Well... Man, Yay. what a journey. Hey, <laughs> I love all of those. <laughs> Some real awesome. twists and turns. That was wild. Welcome back to the Planet Ant Digital House team and the Thursday Night Prime Time Show. If you like those sketches and you have sketches too, send them our way. And uh, I don't know, find us on social media and send us your sketches. Get a hold of us if you want to open up for us. We have some space for um, stand up, improv, uh, stupid human tricks, you flexible, whatever you juggle, bring it on over. We're open and keep giving us some um, lines of dialogue. We will incorporate them in episode three of The Pencil Show. Dun dun. So, without further ado, we shall continue. Not before a recap. We'll have a recap and then the pencil show. Previously on NCIS. Alan Torres, welcome to the pencil show. Dang it! Oh, I hate this! Boy, do I love God. Boy, do I love Ska. Boy, do I hate the pencil show. And boy, do I hate that guy who just came on. He proposed to my girlfriend, and now I'm going to seek revenge. I'm really glad that Alan Torres has been caught having sex with bagels, because now the fact that I can't count as a grown man has been conveniently glossed over. He's fucking bagels, and we're stuck here forever. That's right. We're never going to leave. So... My name isn't George's girlfriend because I'm no longer, but it, it is. Everyone calls me George's girlfriend, okay? I used to be George's girlfriend. Now I'm engaged to um, the Jesus man who's the contestant on the pencil show. You know, it's a lot. We're really on the rocks, though. Can you guess that pencil? I'm going to go get high. <laughs> Yes, I am Jessica. Yes, I am the counting girl. The show can't start without me. But I am just so flabbergasted that everything has to do with bagels. But the show starts in 
11, oh God, seven, eight, two, nine, start, start. Listen, man, I, I was thinking that, you know, I was thinking maybe I could run the show and I was kind of hoping to have your support. Sure, man. I mean, absolutely. Whatever you want. Hey, you're make you're making this easy. Is is everything all right? I mean, I just, if you if you wanted it, you ever you ever you ever just resign yourself to your fate? No, I listen. I'm I'm an Emmy winner. I I I know there's always more out there for me. But you, I've been here for a ye, like a year. I haven't seen my wife, my two small children. I missed the brand new reunion tour. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Come on. Tag out, Jared. So um, the sound guy told me that you have a wife. Oh, shit. Yeah. I do have a wife. I, so, uh, some kind of Mormon situation? You and your Jesus? Well, I mean, I love Jesus, but I'm not, like, that weird about it. Uh, I just forgot. I'm a fan of my, to you? I, well... Abs, abs, absolutely, baby. You're definitely a fantasy. Yeah. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Lost in the world that is the pencil show. You know what? I'm. You're staying engaged to me, and that woman <sighs> is done. Don't even tell me your name. Tell me your name. You know what? Don't tell me your name. Tell me her name. <sighs> What button makes Super Mario kiss in Super Mario World 3? <laughs> oh, wow. You're just going to change the subject like that. I don't like that you're playing games with me figuratively and literally because you're not listening. Just, Already you're playing video I, games? I forgot about my wife, okay? I just forgot, okay? And I'm not mothering those children. I, I'm not mothering well, those children. Why not? I will have my own children. Oh, I don't God. take sloppy second children. I can't Give me afford the I controller. Can't, I can't afford it, any more children. I haven't been paid for being on the show for a year. I'm sure I've been fired by my job. I just I actually think you're legally divorced. Oh, damn That's it. how it works in Tennessee. I can't afford that either. Check out Parker. Okay. All right, Susan. I finally figured it out. I figured out how I'm going to get back at everybody. It's no, been... George. Oh, no. I've been thinking about it. It's over... weird that you still even want to talk to me. I know. But the thing is, I kind of hate everyone. So, And I need to tell the plan to somebody. So, it's... so I've known you the longest. And no. I still think that you're, you still got the hots for me. If we're all being honest with ourselves. I mean, yeah. I mean, I was kind of like low key doing this whole like bringing the whole system down to like kind of impress you, you know. Well, I was kind of just trying to make you jealous, and I found out that my fiance is married. What? That guy? No, screw that guy. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. I know, kind of screw that guy. Yeah. Wait, what? I said, kind of screw that guy. I kind of oh, I thought you said I'm trying so, to screw that guy. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to screw that guy. I was never okay. going to put out. He's religious. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, boring. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's super yeah. weird. Yeah, I wasn't going to so. do it with a Christian. <laughs> Tag it out, Esther. Oh. Tag out, Esther. Well, it seems first the producer, then the intern, were disappearing like the Robinsons in that lost space episode. But you know who's <laughs> been here a long time? Who's that? And you know who has an Emmy? Oh, me. about you again. Awesome. OBG Bye. Boom Guy. Yeah, <laughs> great. Awesome. So I was yeah. just thinking if 
you want to start telling everyone else that I'm in charge? I'd be in charge. You know what? Actually, I think you'd make a great you'd make a really great Patsy. I mean, uh, producer, head of the show that I could maybe throw some blame at. I think that would be awesome. Actually, hold hold two steps backward. Let's let's bring it all back in. Yeah, yeah. I I'm not gonna take blame for at, at this point. I have the I have the power to fire you. Oh no no! Of course you have the power. That's of course you do. That's yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you take the power, you take it, your name will be on everything, and it'll yeah. be perfect. Yeah. I'm but trying to get this through. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm just I'm just curious um, about you know why you wanna why you wanna be crushed by my iron fist. Oh, <laughs> you know because if it's gotta be anyone's fist, it should be the well manicured fist of an Emmy winner. <laughs> No, no. I don't know how someone like you can be so flattering, but I, I want to destroy you so badly. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's, it's my effect on people. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a... Uh, it's you know what? Oh, yeah. I'm, de I'm demoting you. You're demoting? Oh, oh, okay. Well, okay. Where, what are you demoting me to, exactly? Um, you you're George Jr. now. You're not just George. You're George Jr. And I'm, I'm deciding wow. that right now. Wow. It took my whole title for me. Wow. Yeah. You, your title, George Gone, George Jr. George Jr. Okay, do I still get to run the soundboard? I mean, the uh, yeah, we don't have we don't have anyone else to do that. You're just okay. you just have a decrease in title. Um, awesome. Okay. Cool. And I'm it, gonna hold that against you. Later. I mean, you you could work you could work back to get it if you wanted, or you could oh, you could say oh, something cool. you could say something very nice about me, and I'd I'd probably I'd probably make you a senior. I'd probably make you George Senior. Oh, <laughs> mm, you know what? Actually, I'm good, so I might just say something mean. Um, a daytime Emmy is not a real Emmy. Uh, all right, um, you're you're now George the Third. All right, you're George oh, the Third. Yeah. You're no longer George. You're no longer George Junior. You're George the Third. Oh damn it! Tag out, Jared. Hey, George the Third. Can I talk to you for just a second? I just sure. What's up? Come on, my mind. Yeah, George. George, George th third George. We we haven't always hit it off really well. You know what I mean? I'm really religious and I like ska music and you yeah. hate your guts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I was hoping that maybe you might use that opportunity to find something about yourself so that we could come together and into a, like a relationship, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. have, I, I have something that I probably should tell you. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a wife and I just forgot. I forgot I had a wife. Wow. This whole time I've had wow. a wife 15 years. Can you believe that shit? That's so, crazy. Are you serious? What? Yeah. So I first time hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I gotta do something about oh, I guess her name now would be George the Third's girlfriend. Yeah, that's her <laughs> um, title. Yeah. I just I, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind like swimming in my wake a little bit, if you know what I mean. Mm, I don't really swim. Uh, oh, oh, I think I know what you mean. You know, honestly, I think you should just stay engaged to her. That's what I think. I think. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's weird. Really that's weird to hear you say, actually, yeah. that you think that I should do that. Yeah, well, you know, the way I see it, you know, you want to make a choice. You got to live with the consequences. That's what my father taught me. Um, So that's what I'm living by. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't they say that in the Bible, too? Something about, like, how you got to, like, circumvent consequences of your actions thou shalt be, be a dick and when you be do consequences oh sorry yeah you can, go can, <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna reach out to you and tell you something like a deep dark secret about me okay i've never read the bible wow i don't have a clue of what's inside ah, it wow you didn't even open the cover <laughs> no, it's just like it's like real big and like there's yeah. different versions of it. Like, what is it? An anthology? Like, I don't have time to read so the King many. James version and then the like yeah. new standard version and then the original translations. I, I just it's a lot. <sighs> yeah. It's a lot. I get it. I got you, man. The, the sound guys. 
he just told me that I, I he's promoting me to George, and I'm wow freaking out. And I just can you just look in that stupid book of yours and give me a verse that's gonna help me get through this because I'm about to lose my mind. Like any verse, just pick one single. Uh, verse. Sure, let me um, let me just grab my Bible and let me open it up and um. For if thou be the primary, George, thou must present upon the Lord tithes. For so it is said that he who is the most generous of the original Georges is also the most blessed in the kingdom of heaven. This is the word of God. Thanks be to him. What does that mean? Well, I don't understand those well, words. I'd, I didn't like go to seminary school. You know, I just, I just, you know, I just like him. You know, we're just like, cool. Look, Jesus boy, I think you're all right, but if <laughs> you're lying to me about this, I will I will kill you. Tag out Parker. Uh, yeah, yes, sound guy, yes. That's that's not in the Bible. That verse you just told me is not in the Bible. <laughs> you just made that up right now in front of me. Look at here, sound guy. You're putting a lot of pressure on me. I've been around here 14 years. I haven't done anything, and now I have to be George? I, yeah, we don't have a George right now. We always we've always had a George. We're gonna need a George. And if you want to make George senior, you're gonna have to step up and 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 actually follow through with Bible verses. Knock knock knock. <sighs> Alan, how, how are you today? Um, Boom guy. Yeah. I hear you're in charge now. I I am in charge, and that means I'm your boss now, Alan. And I'm not taking shit anymore. Okay, tell right. him, George. Right. Uh, well, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, since you're in charge now, there was a uh, with Janice and with the uh, with the intern, uh, there was a certain expectation of um, things that would be left in my trailer, and there hasn't been anything left in my trailer. I I I bagels, namely. Ellen, and, is that? Yes. Is that ink around your nose? Your your high is fucking white right now. And I'm seeing that too, and I I, I have questions. I don't deny. Guys, guys, that quick, I... quick! I, I'm so sorry. I I have a question, just really quick. Like, it, oh, okay. So, like, if a tree falls in the forest, is it still a tree? It's still um, a tree. yes. No, I think it becomes a log. Wait. Oh. oh my god. You're a genius. That's I love you, sound guy. Thank you. Thank you, sound guy. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, counting girl. What were we talking about? <laughs> Tag out everybody but Michael. Hey, uh, Alan. Uh, do you have a sec? I have a really bad headache. I haven't had sex. I, have, I haven't eaten a bagel in a while. <laughs> I... Uh... I have a problem, and I think that you're the only person on this show who might be able to understand. Alan, just get it out of you. Just get it out of your mouth as quickly as possible. Have you ever forgotten you had a wife? Yes. Oh God, yes. Oh, this conversation again. Pull up a seat. Oh, I, oh thank you. I knew you'd be here to help me for this. Oh, I just thought you wanted to hear one of my great stories. Huh. I'm sure. Go ahead. Tell me one of your great stories. Well, I've gotten married like, uh, well, I don't even know, dozens of times a, a month for the last 30 years of my career. And, you know, you can't remember all of them, but there was one who I really did love. Her name was Jessica. She's actually the counting girl here now, but uh, she doesn't love me and I don't love her and we're very platonic now. Wow. Uh, but I did forget that I married her. Do you have any bagels on you? Uh, no. I I just okay. like I just I hope this in. I hope this helped you in some way. Uh, you can go now. Well, it's just it, I, what did you do when you got maybe in trouble because maybe maybe on television you proposed to somebody, but like you might not have been able to do that 
because you had a wife and you forgot, and then you let it slip because you forgot you had a wife. Did you read my autobiography? Tag out Parker. Alan, I, I know I'm brand new to, to being in charge of you now, and I was doing an inspection of your trailer, and... Well, you look frazzled. Alan, I went into your trailer, and I... I found a bagel. You did? That... Where? I thought they were all gone. <laughs> it was wearing a wedding dress, Alan. Tag out Jared. Alan, can I call you Alan? Feels weird. No, you can call me Mr. Torres. Alan, <laughs> um, I, I feel like there's like a like an unspoken chemistry between you and the counting girl. I don't Is feel it maybe? either. I don't feel it. Oh, you don't feel it either, as in you do feel it. That's a double negative in my English class. Hi. Damn it, you're right. I love yeah. it. <gasps> Tell me more. I love, I love the goss. Spill the tea. All the tea. Put it on my body. Well, it all started in the first year of my career. It was just me, Janice, and the counting girl. And she counted me in so good. But who am I? Who am I to be in love with a counting girl when all what? I've ever loved is ba is all is eating bagels? I think that you're like just you're being kind of classist. I mean, just because she's a counting girl, you can't be what are you trying to be with the girl that like the girls that point out prizes? We don't even have a girl that points out prizes. You're right. I'm being classist. I'm being very classist. That's the problem. It's rude. Mm -hmm. Tag it's out more tea. Michael. Uh, hi, Roger. How's it going? It's, 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 it, it's, it's going okay. <laughs> I, uh, I just, you know, wanted to say how how much I appreciate all the the time you've taken to keep your account before, and that uh, you've really been the the only uh, bright spot of me living here. I really appreciate you saying that, Roger. I just I've been having a really hard time since being so like overwhelmed with all of this like new information coming toward me, not understanding what's up and down, numbers counting. It's my livelihood. It's my whole life. And I've just been, I've been really going through the ringer, Roger. I just have, I'm just so glad to have you on my side. I'm, I'm just glad to finally feel this connection with somebody who hasn't fucked Alan Torres. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Wow! The saga continues. Cliffhanger. Oh, so um, next week will be the final episode. No one Last knows what's going to happen. Last one of this, and then we will begin again. So tune yes. in next week. Bring us. Uh, no, I guess not bring us a genre. Just tune in next week and see the conclusion. And we'll all, we'll flip our wigs. We'll lose our hats. We'll do those things that we do. Send us some sketches. Come open up for us. Follow Planet Ann on all social media. And we are the Planet Ant's digital house team. But individually we are. Sorry. Parker. Jared. <laughs> Michael. I'm, <Ken. laughs> I'm Jamil. Oh gosh. I'm Kevin. Is that everyone? This is me, Esther. I failed you guys by not going clockwise or something. I don't know. <laughs> I failed you all. But anyway, we have been the Planet Digital House team and thank you. 